Welcome to CSL TV. And I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part help you or someone out. And we're just going to watch some videos and talk about them. And if you've been rocking with me, I just got to say, I appreciate you so much for rocking with me, for staying with me. Even though you might not agree with my views or we might not see eye to eye. I just like seeing how everybody think, how people think, because we don't all got the same mind and body. That's why we all different. But anyway, I don't wanna talk too much on this, you know, so let's get it. This story out of Chicago is shocking. It all happened Sunday night here at a hot dog stand on the city's south side. That's when police say this woman, captured on the store surveillance camera, went into the store to get food as her 14-year-old son waited in the car. It was shortly after arriving that things took a drastic turn. Police say that inside, the woman got into a heated argument with this man, 32-year-old Jeremy Brown. The argument between the victim and the defendant turned physical when the victim punched the defendant in the head approximately three times. The hey, you ain't talking about get your food! Get the Who? Get the cop? Uh, Who? Hey, 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 hey. We get your food! Get your food! If you say we one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my god, I'll say one more thing. When I Woman had apparently texted her son to come inside, who is seen here witnessing his mother being hit. Prosecutors say that's when he pulled out a gun and started firing. They say the victim ran into the parking lot where he was shot and killed as the suspect's mother urged him to kill the man and shoot another bystander. After a manhunt, the woman and her 14-year-old son were arrested. This is just the latest instance of gun violence in our country. There are literally more guns than people in America, while the majority of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. This is a researchers have proven the link between the rise in violence, poverty, and easy access to guns. Meanwhile, in a story not covered by mainstream media, Republicans have spent the last two decades pushing for huge tax cuts for billionaires and large corporations while trying to make it even easier to get guns. The woman and her son now face first degree murder charges. Shout out to my homegirl Angie over. I know this news for this content now. It's sad that. The mom had her son get involved in an altercation like this that could possibly change his life forever. Um, he had no right putting his hands on her, you know. But at the same time, she didn't have to get her son involved in it where it cost someone's life and now they both facing murder charges that could possibly taint and mess his life up forever. Good afternoon, Corporal Lowe, Doraville PD. Just need to see a driver's license, please. All right, what are you stopping for? You didn't see the school bus stopped on the side of the road? Didn't see it. Another car beside you stopped? No, sir, I didn't see it. Because I just passed a 41 that was down here, and I was focused on those officers. Uh, do you have any paperwork on the car since there's no... It's my loader. Okay. Sir, I just need to scan the barcode on the inside of the door, please, sir. No courtesy? You can't exercise the courtesy for me? Why should I exercise courtesy? You do understand it's a serious traffic offense in the state of Georgia. I understand. I've written a thousand tickets myself. Are you sir. with somebody? Uh, right now? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Why would I exchange that information? Why well, then I'll write would, you a ticket if, if you won't. If you won't tell me who. Oh you're man! So this is already like it says. Definitely a little suspicious. How he said he wrote several tickets like that, but he didn't quite want to say he wrote several tickets like that it's like he said it low enough where you can hear it but you really can't hear it but we heard it we all heard it you won't tell me who you're with i'll write you the ticket the bus. okay if you don't want to tell me who you're with that's fine i'll I issue the I citation confess guilt to what I did, I didn't you don't have it. to confess guilt you want to tell me who you're with or not that's fine i'll just write the ticket
there. How are you doing? How are you? How you doing, Ms. Schultz? Good. How are you? Came to talk to you about that ticket. Okay, what's going on with it? You don't have to worry about it. Why don't you come out here? Because I have a warrant for your arrest for impersonating a police officer. When did I say that, sir? Sir, just step away, step away, officer. step away, and place your hands oh, on the man. car. I'm post certified. I got my credentials in the car. Place your hands on the hood, please, sir. <sighs> Turn around. Please do not do this. Warrant's already been signed by the judge. Come on, man. Why got do you have to treat me that way? Seriously, why well, do you have to treat me like this? Because you misrepresented yourself. Look, I'm a Damn, so now he begging to not get arrested. The cop pulled up slick as hell. He must not let the shit go because he kept that shit going. Gave the guy a ticket. And then he was like, you know what? I got to check this guy out. His shit didn't come right. So then he went on and proceeded to further investigate on this guy. Got a warrant because he technically said he wrote several tickets like that. Now, if you got credentials and all this shit, my boy, ain't no way in the hell he pulling up to your crib trying to give you a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Trying to take you to jail. Look, I'm a Georgia certified peace officer. I've but I can't tell you what department I'm with. Have a seat in the I car. told you, I cannot tell you. Because there is no seat. I've got your post history right here, bro. Can I please tell my fiance what is going on? We'll let her know what's going on. Just have a seat in the car. Can you check and see if I got keys or anything in my pocket? No keys, just your wallet, it looks like. Okay. Wait, Larry? Okay. Chef, see in the car, sir. All right. I'm gonna give Can you drop the window for me, please? Know what Can you please adjust the cuffs? They're, not... They're already on, and I've already locked them down. Look, low. Come back. Come back up. Low. You think I'm gonna hurt you? No, I'm gonna make sure you're not. Just have a seat in the I car. I mean, can you adjust the cuffs so I can sit right? Just have a seat. Dude, in the get car. in the car. We're gonna put you in the car. Man. Man, that's still crazy. Bro, they came up to his house to arrest him. Now, I wonder how, uh, when he said, I just need to see your ID, I wonder how was he impersonating to be a cop? You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Like, he was in a little Toyota. And from my um, understanding, it looked like a Toyota Corolla. So, just by him saying what he was saying, did he have a fake ID? I'm curious of... You know, just because he said what he said, that's not enough credentials unless he gave him some shit to show. Like, yeah, boy, da 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 Because he said, you know, somebody could say they're a millionaire, but are they really? So I really want to know how was they able to find out um, or what did he show the officer to display some of uh, a law officer, you know what I'm saying?